President Obama traveling to Boston for an event marking Labor Day, and instead of a holiday greeting, he got the cold shoulder from one very important union. Welcome to Happening Now on this Labor Day. I'm Leland Vittert, in for John Scott. And I'm Patty Ann Brown, in for Jenna Lee. The president was hoping to show his solidarity with American workers, but one group is having none of it. A police union was there boycotting the event, citing the recent rash of violence against law enforcement and what they see as President Obama's lack of understanding of the dangers they face in keeping us safe. Kevin Cork is live at the White House with this story. Hi, Kevin. Patty Ann, Leland, happy Labor Day to both of you. You're right, the president back in Bean Town, but at least one union is not so thrilled about that. The New England Be uh, Police Benevolent Association, and essentially they say they're, they're frustrated by what they perceive as a lack of support for law enforcement. And it sort of underscores a feeling we've heard in many law enforcement circles for uh, quite some time. Uh, it's that that divide, if you want to call it that, between those in blue and those that they are obviously sworn to protect, and they work so hard to do that. I want to share something with you. I mentioned that association, and this is from that group's executive director. It was actually in the Boston Herald, a guy by the name of uh, Jerry Flynn, and he writes, our members are enraged at his lack of support of law enforcement, talking about the president. It's clear that he has an agenda, and unfortunately, the police are not a part of his agenda. Flynn, among many who look at what's happening in places like Baltimore and, and Ferguson, for example, as an unfortunate sign of the times, and though we have heard the president say that cops deserve our respect and that their loved ones have a right to expect them to return home safely at night, cops still feel like the White House simply hasn't done or said enough to support them. Now, as you also know, guys, the president is in Boston uh, for a number of reasons. This is Labor Day, and he's there to highlight a pretty big movement in labor, and that is uh, paid leave. I want to share something with you that he signed on his way up there on Air Force One. It's another executive order, and this one is supposed to expand uh, paid leave, uh, paid sick leave, that is. It requires federal contractors, in this case, to guarantee paid sick leave of up to seven days for workers. It's going to affect about 300,000 federal contract workers and they're allowed to use that leave for themselves, a family member, or if, say, for example, there's an absence resulting from domestic violence. And if you've been following the bouncing ball on this, this probably does not surprise you, Patty Ann, because if you think back to January, we heard the president talk about that in his State of the Union address. So they're still trying to expand the reach of union uh, union power, and in this case, they're trying to expand uh, paid leave, which I think will probably have fairly broad support on both sides of the political spectrum. Patty Ann? All right, Kevin Cork, thank you. You bet.